Hello and good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome to another action-packed edition of PPW High Voltage. I'm Big Sean Kramars, and I am so excited to be making my first appearance in front of the PPW Nation. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and giving me an opportunity to be on your TV screen. This week, folks, we have an awesome week of action lined up, flashing back to some great championship matches from the past and also a women's championship match from our return event featuring courageous Christina Marie defending against Adina Steele. Folks, also, you're going to see Samoa Joe go getting a shot at the PPW Heavyweight Championship against then-champion Afa Jr. from back in 2015. You're also going to see billionaire playboy Charles Mason defending his No Limits Championship at the time against Firework Fox Vineyard and Victor Andrews. Those are some awesome matches, folks. Going to be great night action right here on High Voltage. Folks, you're going to want to stay tuned because this upcoming month, we're going to keep the action coming at you hot and heavy. Uh, we are going to show you all of the action from Let It Roll, which was awesome and took place last night. You're going to see Afa Jr. You're going to see the main event. You're going to see Gangrel. You're going to see the Drama King, Matt Morris, and so much more. So stay tuned for a great month of action. Folks, last but certainly not least before we get to the action, make sure you head over to ppwwrestling.com where you can catch all the latest information on our upcoming events, including August 14th and Aerial Assault, where you're going to see the American Wolf Davey Richards once again. You're going to see AEW's Preston Vance, also AEW's Machine Brian Cage, and former WWE star Mojo Rawley will be making his PPW debut. That is going to be awesome, and you can get your tickets right at ppwwrestling.com. And stay tuned for news on September 11th, our anniversary event, where we've already announced AEW's Matt Seidel and Fuego Del Sol, and also Enzo and Cass XL coming to PPW. What action coming up in the next few months, so you are not going to want to miss a minute of it. So enough of me, let's get to the action. Big Sean Kramars for PPW. Enjoy High Voltage this week right here on WYLN-TV. You guys take it easy. PPW Nation, Tom Mitchell here, and I'm here with the women's champion, Christina Marie. Now, Christina, tonight you face a DSO for that very women's championship. Are you nervous at all for the contest? Tom, have I ever been nervous? And Adina Steele, she don't make me nervous at all. How many times have I whooped her ass? Don't even need to count because it's more times than we can even count on two hands. Now listen, I don't know if you've known this, but I am now the longest reigning PPW women's champion. I don't know about you, but I don't think anybody could step foot in the ring with the courageous one. Champ, there's some big words. We'll see if you can live up to them tonight. Back to you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Months in the, e in the making. Finally culminating tonight in your high voltage Main event of the evening. Introducing first, the challenger. In the corner to my left, he weighed in this morning at 292 pounds. Comes to us from the Isle of Samoa. He is the Samoan submission machine. Samoa Joe! His opponent. In the corner to my right, accompanied to the ring by Mr. Azim. He weighed in this morning at 302 pounds, also hailing from the Isle of Samoa. He is our reigning and defending PPW Heavyweight Champion, the Samoan Storm, Afa Jr. What you're witnessing right now is one of the biggest matchups in PPW history. That's on hyperbole. Samoa Joe on the verge of immortality. One of his last appearances here on the independent wrestling scene. Going for the PPW Heavyweight Championship against the Samoan Storm. It's a Samoan submission machine versus a Samoan Storm. Get your drinks down. I hope your bathroom breaks have already been had because you're not going to want to to miss a minute of this matchup. 
The stakes have never been higher. Playing some games here with Samoa Joe. Sizing each other up here. Very evenly matched opponents. Physically, experience wise, both men have wrestled across the world. Both men on paper are equal matches. This one is going to go down to tooth and nail, down to the nitty gritty. Two massive beds squaring each other up. They lock up, call it elbow tie up. Samoa Joe applies the wrist lock, try to wear down off of the PBW heavyweight champion. Paul Bo, these two men, these two behemoths are just sizing each other up. Main event time here, EJ. High voltage main event, Samoa Joe. He's WWE bound. Off a junior, he has been there. He's been all around the world, wrestled all around the world. He's done it all. This match was months in the making, finally culminating tonight here at PPW Point Break. Absolutely, I mean, two men representing the proud heritage of Samoa. Two men who have, as you said, and I said earlier, both wrestle all across the world, who have held belts all across the world. Absolutely. Going toe-to-toe yeah. -to -toe or head-to-head -head will be more appropriate. Tell you what, uh, Samoa Joe looks in great shape. He's dropped probably 50 pounds since leaving TNA on his way to WWE. The guy's in great shape. Absolutely. Last time we saw him in live action at TNA, he was suffering from an injury. It was right before he went out on medical leave, and he has made 100% uh, recovery here. Absolutely, me and you were in attendance for that, you and I. I think you got yelled at by Bully Ray that night. Absolutely. Look at that vicious chop from Offa Jr. As the evil scowl starts to appear on Offa's face. Tell you what, you're not going to see anything fancy in this matchup. The, whoever wins, they're still going to have to be peeled off this mat, I'll tell you that much. Oh, Joe with a left, Joe with a right. There's that patented style of Samoa Joe. He was one of the first wrestlers to cross the MMA style into professional wrestling, really popular, popularized that. He's definitely a trailblazer in professional wrestling. Not to cut you off, EJ, but a knife edge chop by off, and those Samoans know how to chop. Absolutely, I mean, what I want to see is a battle of headbutts. Oh, a rake of his back. Off and just driving that shoulder like a battering ram into the solar plexus of Samoa Joe. Yo, Paul Ball, there's no way Samoa Joe underestimated Offa Jr. in this. He is prepared 100% and looked just like that. Reverse on the Irish oh. whip. I'll tell you what, for a guy who's pushing 300 pounds, he can get up off his feet like that. It's unbelievable. It's awe-inspiring. Absolutely. I've seen guys 150 pounds that can't get up that high. As the action pours to the outside, uh, Samoa Joe better stay far away from Mr. Azeem. Uh, so Samoa Joe will eat Mr. Azeem for breakfast. But he better not turn his back on him, is what sh I should have said, which he's doing right now. Samoa Joe with those vicious jabs. I mean, they, they're quick, fast punches, but they still have a tremendous amount of power behind them. Yeah, 292 pound, pounds behind them. I'll tell you what, he's going after Mr. Azim. Look out if he catches him. Mr. Azim has what's nothing to do with it. Oh. He's not the type of guy to fight you one on one. Oh. oh. Look at that, blurred off a right, or excuse you, blurred Samoa Joe right into Offa's trap. Mr. Azim, he did what he had to do. He chased him, he got chased around the ring, let him right to Offa. Oh! And look at that, big knife edge shot to the former Ring of Honor TNA World, and, and TNA World Heavyweight Champion, a record setting title hold in R Ring of Honor when the competition there was at its stiffest. Yeah, absolutely, I saw those chops right in front of birthday girl, Allison Berlanda there in the front row. A lot of birthdays her 21st here tonight. birthday. All right, I'm sure she'll have some fun tonight. And look at this, they're battling it out. 
And Alpha finally gets a taste of his own medicine as he gets face planted right into that steel chair. Serves him right for what happened to Stevie. Oh Shields no, week. we've seen this before, Paul Bo. This is Samoa Joe. Pit full oh. steam ahead. Drives the boot right into the face of Alpha. Patented maneuver from the Samoan submission machine. Our, our head of security, Character Ed, is right there in front, though. Thank God. Absolutely. Things might just uh, get out of control if he wasn't there. Thank God he's there. Samoa Joe really taking it. I've never seen Alpha manhandled like this. Uh, Samoa Joe's taking it to him. For once, I can say, in Alpha's title reign, he's looking uh, human, should I say, because he's like a wrecking ball. Heavy knees, quick jab from Samoa Joe, European uppercut. He has off a junior reel, but just oh, like man. that, the quickness. He is like, I've said it before, he's like a bear out in the woods. Huge, huge body mass, but his quickness defies his size. Both of these guys are actually true heavyweights, EJ. A lot of times we say it's a heavyweight contest, but both men over 300 pounds, both can move and groove and get down. They can do it all, like the great Captain Lou Albano used to say. They can suplex from their knees. Oh my God! Paul Ball, I think I'm eating my words. I've never seen Samoa Joe manhandled like this either. Yeah, he's checking his teeth there, and that's probably a good idea. Off of working on the trapezius area there, EJ. Absolutely, yes, that hold, just digging in. May not get the submission from a move like that, but it's definitely wearing down Samoa Joe. And actually also, EJ, with 300 pounds right on top of him there, it's easier to wear him down like that. Off, look at the Absol distorted oh, look is on the this. face of Offa. Sinister. He's not, some, some competitors enjoy winning. This man enjoys inflicting pain on his opponents. Thus does his counterpart Havoc. Absolutely. <laughs> Same cloth. Samoa Joe struggling to get back to the vertical base, fighting out with those back elbows. Off a of junior on the defensive again. Samoa Joe back to life off the ropes and take it down again. Oh, boy, that's getting hit like he's getting hit by a Mack truck. Absolutely. Oh, and there's your head, buddy, EJ. But it. I mean, doesn't it cancel each other out? A Samoan on Samoan headbutt? <laughs> it must be. Here we go. Off a of junior has Samoa Joe up against the ropes, not a good position. For the S Samoan submission machine, and now the bladed choke on the middle rope. Off a of junior just Rocket 300 pounds on the back of the neck. And that never could feel good, EJ. Samoa Joe needs to change his strategy. Tell you what. Oh, and look at Mr. Azim. Oh, yeah, you know, that's what I was saying. You have to have eye, eyes in the back of your head when it comes to that pint sized. What do you call him? Sawed off at the knee, pint sized. Dwarf. Dwarf. going right back to that firm hold on the trapezes area. Is that correct? That Paul is Paul? correct, the trapezes area. I know my anatomy. Medical student for two years. Then I dropped out. We won't talk about that, though. Tell you what, Samoa, Samoa Joe in a bad position here. Off of Junior has it scouted out perfect. I'm kind of getting really nervous about it, EJ. He's really wearing out Samoa Joe. And he's keeping the match at his pace. He is in control. There's a, a, no other way to describe it. He is controlling everything that goes on in that ring right now. Absolutely. And that's just the way he likes it. That is the way he was taught since he was a, a kid to wrestle. To just dominate. Joe's trying to shake him off. He can't seem to shake the cobwebs. Absolutely, he's seeing stars right now. He's almost out on his feet. And there's, again, the blade and choke in the corner. Miniker will have none of that after the five count. Joe's rolling out to the ring, trying to buy himself some time. Finally, veteran move right And there's there. Azim. He probably Come on. Did, he probably did, oh! Oh, he got him! He nailed him! 
He headbutted him. A big headbutt. But he's paying for it now as he turned his back on Offa Jr. and off his back on the offensive. And there's a headbutt of his own. I'll tell you what, this crowd is firmly behind Samoa Joe. It's absolutely electric in here right now. Oh, uh, Offa with his feet on the rope. And again, Maneker caught it. He is on his A game tonight. That's why he is the senior official. You know, that's, he's, it's only fitting that he referees this match, one of the biggest contests of PPW history. Daniel Marsh, escorted out of the ring before, carried out. Josh Meineker getting the main event, rightfully deserved. And there is the opening that Samoa Joe has been looking for. Just a simple sidestep, perhaps Alfred Jr. got overconfident. I think he might have, EJ. And Both this, men are out. This has come to a stalemate here. Samoan versus Samoan. The Samoan submission machine versus the Samoan storm. The warlord of the Samoan dynasty, Alpha Jr. What a matchup we're seeing here. Both these men just pounded each other into oblivion. Listen to this crowd, EJ. Listen to the crowd. Not it, a right by Joe. This is what pro wrestling's all about, folks. As Samoan Joe unloads on Alpha Jr. Championship in his sights. Off of, off the ropes. Catches Samoa Joe with a big kick. Samoa oh. Joe reverse atomic drop. Off the ropes. Big boot. He is back in this one. Oh. oh. We, off of Junior. I to say we had a new champ, EJ. Barely kicks out. Joe fights out of the corner with a big boot. Crowd is going nuts. Oh my God, what does he have in mind here, Bobo? Oh, head. See, now most men after taking three headbutts from Offit Jr., they'd be knocked out cold. EJ Cole. No, oh my God! I think the ring just moved two feet. Absolutely. Samoa Joe gets out of the way. Sleeper hold. Good night, Irene. This could be it. Into a submission hold. Faraday can choke. Faraday I think he's going to tap. On the mat. I think he's going to tap. This EJ. is it. I think we have a new PBW champion. I think, we have a new champion. Champion. I think he's going to tap. This is all. He's miles away from the ring. He might as well be six he's miles not on away. His feet. I think we have a new champion right here. There's nowhere for Offit to go. This is history in the making here, folks. He has it locked in pretty good, EJ, as you can see. He has it locked in. There's nowhere to go. He's miles away from the ropes, as you said. Josh is checking his arm to check his life. He's trying to just choke out the monster of off a What is that? What? What is that? What is this talent? What are you doing? Oh, you jerk. Get out of here. This is a disgrace. Folks, I don't, I don't know what the meaning of this is. I'm trying to see if I can listen, and I fit. Commissioner Ryan Race has just informed me that the time limit has expired in this contest. Still, your world champion. Time limit. Off a junior. There haven't been time limits for 15 years. What is this? There haven't been time limits in over a decade, Ryan Reese. This is a, this is just sickening. Once again, Ryan Reese ruins another classic. And look at this havoc, trying to take out Samoa Joe. He came out of flip flops. I don't know what's wrong with him. Samoa Joe set it up for the muscle buster. There it goes. Folks, Samoa Joe was moments away. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, the No Limits champion, Charles Mason. <laughs> now, Charles, you've been very vocal on social media as of late, calling all your competition inferior and saying they did not live up to your standards. Now, you have Fox Vineyard and Victor Andrews. 
How are you feeling? Have you been off more than you can chew? Bit off more than I can chew, huh? That's what you think? That's what you think? I mean, they are both very credible competitors. Yeah. Those two men, combined, combined, have been wrestling for 20 plus years. 20 years! And they're coming after my title, my championship. I've been doing this for one year. I am way better than they ever will be, okay? So this is nothing. This is the easiest match I've probably ever had in my life. An easy payday, okay? And when I'm done here, I'm gonna take this title, probably head down to the Bahamas with one of their women and show them what a real man feels like. You heard from the champion. Back to you, Paul. Well, welcome back to PPW High Voltage. Phil Bravado, E. Julius Kuiper, and the returning Victor Andrews jumping in the ring. Victor Andrews, Mr. Everything from Brooklyn, New York, uses a little bit of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and a little bit of amateur wrestling to get through the matches. And he's looking for a breakout moment here. Trained under C.W. Anderson in North Carolina. Obviously, Victor Andrews making his way from North Carolina, EJ. And like I said, looking for that breakout moment. Absolutely. And now Fox Vineyard, part of the Punk Rock All-Stars here. With the confetti popper. Well, the kaleidoscope of chaos, as Fox Vineyard has told us, he wants to be referred to as. I guess you could say one of the Punk Rock All-Stars, newest member, and I don't have any idea why they would want him in there. Look at what he looks like. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're both crazy. Fits in, right in with the Punk Rock All-Stars, bravado. In all seriousness, the 245-pounder, well-traveled competitor, Competed all over the United States. Ring of Honor being the most notable. And Fox Vineyard looks mad before he, even, before he even starts the match. I'll tell you what, Victor Andrews doesn't look scared at all. Well, we are awaiting the billionaire playboy, the No Limits champion, Charles Mason. And there he is. Earlier this week, AJ Charles Mason having a sit-down interview with Tom Mitchell asking PPW for a bit of a challenge. He's got one here tonight with Charles Mason, Victor Andrews, and Fox Vineyard for that No Limits Championship. And EJ, the No Limits Championship, the hardest one to hold on to. Obviously, we don't have to do Scott Steiner math to figure the to figure that it's going to be harder to hold on to a title with more competitors in the match. I'll tell you what, I was in a match with Charles Mason one time. He threw Paul Bow right over the top rope. <laughs> You did. With the head scissors. Beautiful so, form, EJ. very impressive. Well, you Jeff, want to talk about technical wrestling. Jeff Carden will display the No Limits Championship. Up for grabs here tonight. Charles Mason, very confident that he's going to walk out of here a winner. I have to wonder, is that arrogance? Is that naivety? What is it? He is the champion, Paul. 
Don't you call me Paul Bo. Don't you start. Victor Andrews going for it immediately, and this is exactly what happens. This is exactly what Charles Mason wants. Perhaps he should step back a little and let his opponents go at it. Just enjoy the show. Of course, if you do that, you always have to be on your guard. Whoever pins whoever will walk out of here, the No Limits champion. I'll tell you why, Charles Mason, he has a trick or two up his sleeve though, you can guarantee that. Delilah talking some smack to Charles Mason. I'll tell you what, the kaleidoscope of chaos just got a boot to his face. Well, now we'll see Charles Mason and Victor Andrews. Fast action. Carden can barely control what, what's going on. Mason goes to the outside, smartly so. Victor Andrews looks like he's setting up for something. Fox Vineyard sees it, misses. And Vineyard to the outside. Andrews uses Vineyard's momentum against him. Beautiful arm drag there. I think that's that MMA jujitsu background coming out there as you were talking about there, Bravado. Well, they call him Mr. Everything because he can do just about everything, and he's about to display it now! Oh my God! Over the top rope onto both competitors! Jeff Cardinal get out to the outside to try to control it. Good luck. Victor Andrews rolling Fox Vineyard into the ring, smartly staying on the competitor, knowing that he has to pin him in order to win a championship here tonight. And Mason with a beautiful save in the nick of the time. Vineyard thrown into the corner. And it looks like he might have done something to his shoulder. Both competitors being Victor Andrews and Fox Vineyard grabbing their shoulders. And Mason's not gonna help it here. Right into the exposed steel, Victor Andrews. Andrews tried to stop that, but that's like trying to stop a freight train with that much momentum and energy going into that corner. And look at that, Mason plants Andrews into the mat, only a two count. Vineyard better get back in there if he's looking to score a three count here. You can't win the championship from outside the ring. The billionaire playboy, Charles Mason, properly trained with all the money that you could throw at a, at a trainer. Seems to be paying off here, Bravado. Well, we're gonna see. Vineyard, not exactly from that uh, walk of life. I don't know what, what walk of life Fox Vineyard's from, to be completely frank. Tell you what, I don't know where Fox Vineyard's from. It's hard to uh, pinpoint it there, Bravado. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what he is, let alone where he's well, from. Well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna argue there, but we do know he is a good competitor here, working his way up the ranks in PPW. A uh, win here tonight. He better Obviously work his be way big. back into the ring, Bravado. As I said before, you can't win that championship from outside the ring. Victor Andrews, very impressive in his debut showing here at PPW. Well, it's re-showing, but yeah, re-showing. Get it right, EJ. stop you dead in your tracks. Mason had no idea what was going on. The vibration of the ring woke him up. Lunges and a nice kick right to the ribs never hurt anybody or did it. It wouldn't if you're Charles Mason. It helps you stay in control of this match. Finier easily reverses that whip but runs right into an elbow. Mason, you know, maybe good Mason ring on had that plan. A good ring awareness by Charles Mason regardless. Tell you why. You have all the ring awareness you want when you're against an opponent who's 245 pounds and built like Fox Vineyard. You're going to be aware of your face in the mat more than anything. Vineyard coming to Hazleton, debuting at the PPW New Beginning Show with Impact Wrestling. Debuted with the Punk Rock All Stars as their third member and hasn't looked back since. Great uppercut into the corner. 
Victor Andrews, the recipient. Victor Andrews whipped into the corner. Oh, and then both men take each other out. Andrews has been to hell and back in this match. First, the, the steel post, the exposed steel post into the shoulder. And the champion comes up short there, comes up empty. And Mason would have landed that, I think we would have been counting to three. Absolutely, but both men scouted it out. Mason is dazed over there in the corner. All three men wondering what's next as they find each other in the middle of that ring. Very pivotal moment here in this match. Who has the most guts? Who can dig the deepest? And right now it's seeing, seeming like Victor Andrews is the answer. Andrews, a beautiful move. Unbelievable, that might be it. Bro! Oh, oh, I think the shoulder came up before the hand hit there, Bravado. The energy left this building when Jeff Carden didn't get to three. Everybody moaning. Everybody wanting to see Victor Andrews come out of here with the PBW No Limits Championship. To see a replay of that. We'll see what our editors can do. Mason kicked right in the chin. Andrews going up top. Taking High too risk long. here, though. Especially against something like Fox Vineyard. Wait, what's Charles Mason thinking about? No. Victor Andrews hung out to dry. Oh, wow. Gonna end well for him. You can see Victor Andrews is trying to hold on there. Mason no. almost no, I stole the victory. You can see Victor Andrews is trying to hold on there. Didn't do much go with that much weight coming off the top rope. Two close near falls is going to result in the match continuing. Charles Mason can be as frustrated as he wants. This one continues. Fox Vineyard getting ripped by the beard. Charles Mason trying to show us why he's that No Limits champion here. Andrews with the famous, sir. All three men laid out. Andrews. And wait, Delilah holding down. Throwing Smart Charles move Mason from Delilah out. there. Smart move. Seeing that Fox Vineyard wouldn't get the victory, helping Charles Mason out. It ain't gonna matter. Victor Andrews staying in control. Then now wait. Get Delilah off this ring. Delilah distracting. Victor Andrews is up to an eight count. I always say Delilah is the wild card in the matchup. Whatever she's at the at the side of the ring, you could expect. Shenanigans, Bravado. On the smile on Delilah's face says it all. Fox Wild Vineyard wins champion. it. Fox Vineyard. EJ Fox Vineyard is going to walk out of here, the No Limits champion. And it is in no small part to the acts of the lovely Delilah who accompanies him to the ring. Absolutely. Tom Mitchell here. I am waiting for Fox Vineyard, who just won the No Limits Championship. Hey. Speaking of which, hey, hey. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Hey. We used to have things, but no, we don't have those things. He's got things. Hey, Fox. Can I, Fox, can I, can I get a word with you for a second? 
So, you've only been here for five months, and you're already a no-limits champion? I've only been here for five months! Do you know what I've been for ten years? The kaleidoscope of chaos has been dominating! And now I got punk rock all-stars with me, and we're doing things we're celebrating all day! Ah. <laughs> Why the hell is doing that? They're excited. Back to you guys. PBW Nation, Tom Mitchell here, and I am here with Adina Steele. Adina, tonight you face Christina Marie in a match that's been over a year in the making now. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling heading to the contest? I feel ready. I mean, like you said, Christina and I are very familiar with each other, especially here at PPW Entertainment. And this past year, I've really been focusing on my fitness, my diet, my wrestling skills, everything. I've had free time and I've used it to the best of my ability. And Christina Marie does not know the Adina Steele that she will be stepping in the ring with tonight. Awesome. You look like you're in fantastic shape. I hope for Christina's sake that she is also in fantastic shape. Back to you guys. Here we go, women's championship match here on Overdrive. I'm Fast Freddy here with Mike Payton and Anthony, welcome aboard. Thank you so much. Here we go, PPW women's champion. Crowd is going hot for Christina right now. And these two, a lot of history here between these two. That is true. Last time Christina, it was pretty much a squash match with her and Christina last time. But now Adina has the time 
during uh, during the pandemic to, to, to strengthen her skills, and now we're going to see what happens now. Yeah, definitely definitely has improved her game, hitting the gym hard. Uh, this is a different Adina Steele we're going to see here tonight against Christina Marie. Tessa's strength already shows they're pretty equal. Let's see how this works out. Great crowd. Ducks underneath. Great crowd here in Broadheads. Beautiful hip toss by Adina Steele. Ducks underneath, hop the rope. Round and round we go. I'm getting dizzy just watching that. Oh. Dina with the snap bear. Nicely done. I think Adina upped her game. Absolutely. Oh. I mean, last time they got in the ring, this, this match was already over. Yeah. <laughs> and a beautiful drop kick there by Dina. Cover. Two count. Two count. It's going to take a lot more to keep Christina Marie down. That is true. With, with Christina's track record at PPW, it's really impressive. Uh, not just PPW. She's the like northeast area, like the northeast coast. Christina Marie has gone everywhere and just dominated as a competitor. That is very true, and we're glad to have her here in PPW. Adina Steele, though, not not a slouch either, has worked very very hard. She's going to be in the super, the women's super eight this year. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, gonna yeah, be in the super eight this for year. Her. Yeah. Well deserved. A lot of big names go through there, and, and uh, yeah. Adina getting an opportunity, which is really exciting. Christina slowing the pace down a little bit here, working working the arm. Of course, we all know that Christina Marie is a slow pace worker. Dina Steele, a fast pace worker. But then, when she goes fast, that means then eventually she's going to burn out, and that's when Adina will capitalize. Switching over to a choke. Now into the turnbuckle. You see, you can't go wrong with just watching it and just letting your opponent like get burned out of energy, and then take it over from there. Oh, just chop. Ooh. I think they heard that all the way in the back. I don't know, we ran out of chairs here. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with the body press. We said PPW fans should sell out, and boy, did they deliver. Yeah, they did. Hot I don't, crowd. I don't know oh! We, I don't know if we can fit any more in this building. No, it's definitely definitely jam-packed. Uh, time off has definitely been nice, uh, coming back to a huge crowd, very hot crowd. Everyone's been really, really cool here. They're about six feet apart, I think. Yeah. Minor setback for a major comeback, and Christina oh, Marie. Wow. Yelling at the fans. Christina's not gonna be, she's not gonna be flashy, she's not gonna be fast, but she's gonna be strong and she's gonna hit hard. Christina Marie, the reigning and defending women's champion, been a women's champion for a very long time. Yes. There's, I don't know the exact days, but it's gotta be a record. Yeah. Working that leg off the post, Christina Marie. Got her three count, does break clean. Well, during the pandemic, you know, we really couldn't have shows, and I, I, I can't strip them, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So it just had to stay until the next time you were able to safely crowd, open. Crowd is not liking what's happening here. Oh, flip your hat. But Christina, that, that's a South Philly finest hat still hanging out here. Oh. Adina Pardon. with the chop. Christina not liking it. And Christina oh. Marie knows oh. that. Uh, turns the favor. If, she, if there's a count out, she can't lose the title. Yeah. Don't tell her oh. that, though. She, she doesn't have to lose a title on a DQ. But that still would give her a running then for the women's championship. We're at a According six to the rules. Yeah. If Adina oh would. my goodness. Jaw jocking with the fans. Christina Marie not liked. She used to be liked. Uh oh. And Adina Steele now getting aggressive. That's what Christina. is giving him time here. He, he doesn't want this to end in a count out, which is great because the fans don't that want was that either. Nine and three quarters. Yeah, he was definitely being a yeah. little generous. Christina's taking her title. Christina Marie's leaving. She's okay. out of here. It's okay. The rest from New York. They really can't count much anyway. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. And Adina still saying, nah, uh. Off Didn't the apron. Use it that way. Adina, Adina on the hunt. She but rolls you know, in. This is what Christina Marie, Christina Marie wants this. Oh, she she's wants, coming right here by the table. She wants Adina Steele to get mad because when you get mad, you make mistakes. Oh. We'll grab that. <laughs> we already had one mess. We don't want to need another one. Yeah, Paul will bang me for it. Oh, probably. For the record. And as I was saying, Christina Marie wants Adina Steele to get mad. Because, you know, you get mad, you make mistakes. And that's where Christina she Marie can capitalize. The, the fire in her eyes. Crowd, crowd is getting hot here. They're chatting for getting the clap going for Adina, uh, trying to rally her back. And if Adina Steele can win this place, the, the, I think the roof will come off. A lot, a lot of exciting matches tonight, a lot of title changes, a lot of interesting things. Showing off that strength, marching around the ring with Adina on her back into the Samoan drop. And that just about One, do it. One, two, no. Two count. Oh, I'm surprised yep, uh, Holbrook can call it that high. 74. No, 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 Buster. He's a good ref. <laughs> I like having him here. 
Well, the crowd agrees with me. They want <laughs> Jeff the ref. Jeff, Jeff has been a, uh, on fire tonight. Jeff has been on fire tonight. And Christine Marie. Irish Talking about fire. Another, another body splash. Christine Marie loves those body splashes. Looking for a scoop slam here. And look at the power of Christina Slams Marie. Her down. Cover. Two count. Adina again kicks out. This, this got to be getting ahead of Christina Marie. Just, you know, the last time they squared up, it was just such an easy win for her. Now she comes back, and Adina is, is giving everything she has and staying See, staying now tight. she has to work. And she's Adina just she wants to try to grab that title from her. I don't blame her. Yeah. You know? Last time we seen Christina have to work this hard in the title match was Mercedes Martinez. That's, yes. That was a very good match. A very hard bout between the two. I mean, Adina Steele. I mean, right now, you think Christina Marie thinking that Adina Steele is Mercedes Martinez? I mean, you got the tats. I don't know. That's Mercedes Martinez is some big shoes to fill. Oh, <laughs> oh, the kick out. Well, have a nice trip. Sweeps. See you next fall. Also, the fall, there was, there was, there was a knee there. Up. Oh! Ooh. That could be it. She looks out. You Adina gotta finish Steel. it. You gotta finish it, Adina. You can't mess around. She's out. She's out. Go for the cover. Adina, this this is where this is where this uh, that the freshness of her might be a problem. Oh, she, what is she, this? What the pump handle? Is she looking for straight off the mat here? Why oh not? my god. Look at this. Oh, there's a reason she's been hitting the gym. She's Adina the Steel! Oh my god! Oh, beautifully done! Adina Steele saying Christina Marie's One, got power. Two. Oh, oh almost the three. And Adina Steele showing off her power. I thought she had it there. Adina is showing uh, Adina is showing that Christina Marie's not the only powerhouse in this company anymore. Yeah. Set her up. This could be a suplex here. And uh, uh no, looking for a fisherman. Oh. Christina Marie battling the body. Back. Shots to the body. Shot to the knee to the body. Into the you corner. gotta think Christina Marie's looking for that. Oh, oh. German suplex. She's Damn gonna, near folding her up like an accordion. She's gonna feel that in the morning. Adina is staring at the lights. This is not a good sign right here. Here's Cover. Count. One. And two, a kick two. out. Adina still got a little fight in her. Christina getting frustrated. What does she have to do to keep Adina And you see down? Christina and Marie focusing She's calling on the, for the end here. She's calling for the end. Christina Marie focusing on the back. That's because she's probably setting up for the power bomb. She's, she's had enough. She says she's calling for the end here. And she wait a minute. At the crowd. I just mentioned the power bomb. I just mentioned this. It's Whoa. Up. Oh, oh Adina comes back down. Adina Steele countering. Back body, body, back oh. body drop. Crowd is rallying. Could this be in for Adina Steele? Adina Steele gets oh. Going to the top, going he to the top. To go he's to still going to go to the top rope. Somebody better call Broadheads Bill Airport or uh, Lehigh Valley. It's closer, right? Uh, here, uh, Adina's coming to her feet. I don't know, but Christina coming to her feet. Sorry about that. Adina up on the top. Look out below. Oh, hey, Christina Marie. Well scouted. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, 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 wait a minute. What is going on? Who's that? One. But someone's in the ring. Oh, oh the hell? Man. Disqualification, she, Christina Marie does not lose the title. I don't even know who she is. We have no idea who this is, ladies and gentlemen, but she, she is uh, making her claim. I think somebody is pinning a target on Christina Marie's. And hopefully we can get somebody to tell us who the hell this is. She's got the title. Not that she wants. And Christina Marie got a target on her back. And you know Adina Steele is probably mad. Ladies and gentlemen, what referee is, Jim Hubbard has disqualified. Adina Steele cheated Adina out of the title. Still, what a shame this is. We were getting a, a great match here for and the women. Oh, oh, no. Off the skull with the title. That is a way to make a name for yourself here in PPW, but now you just upset Christina Marie and Adina Steele. They're both not going to take this lying down. I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to give any... J.C. Storm. Paul coming over to tell us J.C. Storm coming in. That, that's what we have here making the run in. That is going to do it here today. Great match. A disappointing ending. We were, it was going to be a great match, and then we had that run in. Yeah. Leaves, leaves the door open to find out what's going to happen next show. And Adidas Steel obviously furious. Just a shame.